So let's talk a little bit about the benefits uh, that you expect to get from a conceptual model. Um, I think there are three really key benefits to having a conceptual model. Uh, the first is that the conceptual model represents a definitive definition of the terms and concepts that business people understand. Um, emphasis on the word definitive here. Um, the good thing about a model is that if it is definitive, it, it, it has a clear, unambiguous statement of meaning for each of the terms. It may be wrong, and that in itself is a, is a positive benefit because if it's definitive and wrong, you can address why it's wrong and you can improve it. So that's benefit number one. Uh, a conceptual model will give you a definitive definition of business terms. The second benefit really is the most important one, I think, in terms of uh, using a model from a, as a communication device, uh, that of shared understanding. A conceptual model can be used to ensure that a group of business people have a common shared understanding of the meaning of the terms they use, um, and that when we talk about the uh, communication between the business uh, and, and its IT um, and the IT folks who, who support the business, um, that we can also ensure that that shared understanding extends to the IT community as well as the business community. So that's the second benefit, shared understanding. The third benefit of a, um, of a good conceptual model is that it can be used to ask what if. What if we did a business differently? Um, what would, that, would that be of value to us? And we can use the conceptual model as a device to help a community of both business and IT people ask the question, what if we did things differently? Um, in a low-cost fashion, it doesn't really cost very much to have a workshop or a discussion which maybe lasts an hour or two where you draw boxes and lines and, and have a, a sensible discussion about, uh, about what if we change the way we do business um, to try the following. Um, it's a certainly a lot cheaper than actually going and trying it and see whether it, whether it uh, works or not. So those are really the three key benefits of, uh, of a conceptual model. So just to reiterate, the focus of this set of videos is on communication using data models as a communication device. I plan to show you how to adapt the modelling techniques that you already know to develop data models that you can use to communicate between IT and business people. So that's the benefits of data modeling. Uh, next up is module three, the modeling landscape, where we discuss conceptual, logical, and physical data models.